Welcome to the broadcast. I am Ashley Mazuri. Our sign language interpreter is Damien Evans. Kenyans will agonize longer before a reprieve on the cost of living is witnessed. Treasury Cabinet Secretary Juguna Ndungu now says the state is working to correct institutional failures that are partly to blame for the situation. Jasmine Murani starts us off. It is now emerging that market capture has led to painstaking poverty for many Kenyans. If word by Treasury CS Njoguna Ndongo is anything to go by. Speaking during the launch of the Kenya Economic Report 2023, the CS detailed how key sectors of the economy have become unresponsive due to market capture. The new administration is concerned with the problems that have led many Kenyans to sink into abject poverty. One of the identified problems is the market capture, so that those at the bottom of the pyramid do not get returns for their sweat and investment. For instance, today we can talk, we can ask ourselves three questions. What happened to the vibrant sugar growing regions, for example? What happened to coffee? What happened to cotton? Then we ask, what happened to their production and productivity? What happens to the investments that were made? In this case, the markets were interfered with, and the market development, the market protection, and the market regulation failed. The report published by the Kenya Institute for Public Policy Research and Analysis shows the performance of the country's economy in 2022 with snapshots of inflation, cost of living and macroeconomic effects. It is documented therein that it will take nearly two years before the inflation rate stabilizes within the government threshold of between 2.5 and 7.5 percent. This follows a runaway inflation witnessed in 2022 hitting high of 9.6% and averaging at 7.7%. When food inflation is going up, uh, then everybody uh, is affected and more so the low, uh, how, the low income household who spend about 60% uh, of their income uh, on food. So anytime uh, food prices go up, uh, then uh, cost of living uh, increases and the low income earners are uh, hit or bear uh, a heavy uh, burden. The CS said the persisting shocks to the economy have seen the market lose predictability, creating a lasting effect and necessitating significant reforms. But the most important thing is that it's to expound then how do we get out of that kind of permanent effect? How do we ignite economic recovery? resolve the cost of living and also ignite growth and vibrancy. That's why we have the bottom-up economic transformation agenda for the current administration and it is geared towards realizing an economic turnaround and achieving inclusive growth. Boosting domestic supply and ensuring that markets work if effectively are critical steps towards improving the living standards for Kenyans, especially those at the bottom of the pyramid. It remains to be seen whether the bottom-up economic transformation agenda by the Kenya Kwanza government will help alleviate poverty for many Kenyans. Jasmine Murani for KTN News. Away from the state of the economy,